Today I'm just going to show you a, a real basic setup for building the Jacob's Ladder. Um, so here's what it kind of looks like. These are real simple to build. You can make them really big, really small, but uh, this gives you a basic concept of it. So your main piece you're going to want to start with is a neon transformer. So this is just a, a real small guy. This guy's only running like 9,000 volts. Um, you can get some really big ones. You can really spread this thing out and get it going. But this, like I said, real basic here. You don't need much. But you want to mount your transformer and then get a couple of, uh, so I just used, um, you know, what you'd use for like spark plug wires in your car. And uh, just route that around. Crimp on some terminals on the end. And then you just want to go with some round steel stock. So this is probably like eighth inch or so. You don't need anything too incredible. Um, you know, pass them through a couple of insulating blocks of some nature so that you don't get anything touching. And then the bottom here, you sort of trial and error, but you got to get pretty close in order to set your spark. And then just branch them out as you go up from there. And at the top, you don't really have to put this angle. You can just keep a pretty steady fork all the way up. But if you bend this angle at the end, you get that nice pop instead of it just drifting off and going out. So the more powerful transformer you get, the more you hook it right here, you get a real good pop off the end of it. And, um, you know, once it gets going, it'll take off. Now, you might want to leave yourself a little adjustment like I've gotten here so I can move the bars in and out and I can change my tilt because it's going to get a little finicky to figure out exactly where your spark starts and to get it to climb and stuff like that. Um, there are designs if you want to make your life easier. I don't have it here, but you can actually make this gap much wider. And then all you have to do is tie in here something like a 10 watt resistor and bring a probe into the middle between these two and it'll help start the spark in the middle and you can start with a wider gap um, but that's if you want to go much larger or anything but this will give you a basic concept of just how to set something up simply um, so let me go ahead and turn it on you just kind of see how it works then